Today, I thought it would be a good idea to go over loadouts inside of Destiny 2. For those of you guys that don't know, you can save custom loadouts, swap loadouts and stuff as you see fit. You can go way more advanced with it, but I'm just going to show you guys a basic how to do it and tell you guys why you might want to do it. So first of all, let's look at my loadout. If you're on, you know, PC, mouse and keyboard, just click here. But since I'm on controller, I just hit here. These are my loadouts. Ignore the names. You can technically rotate between some names and colors and even icons. But that's not real important for the purpose of this. Let me click on this loadout right now. And as you can see, this is my thunder loadout, okay? This is my electric loadout. Basically, if I want to be like an electric firing thunder lord type, all electric, all the time, unlimited power type, whatnot. This is what I would go to. I didn't actually change any of the gear for any of the loadouts, but you technically can. Don't judge me. This is just to show you guys. And then let's say I wanted to show you guys all that the cold doesn't bother me anyway. I would switch to this, which is frankly my cold loadout. It's all focused on cold, particularly this one is focused on the idea of Bleak Watcher. Okay, I'm just kind of showing you guys that this isn't a full review of my loadout. Again, do not judge me because like I said, this, oh, I didn't even know I had this catalyst. Oh well, anyway. And that's a that particular loadout. And then, you know, we have another loadout, which of course is the loadout I was in to begin with. Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something cool with the, the loadout, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and as you see, one of my loadouts includes this. I'm going to store it in my vault. And then I'm going to store the Thunderlord in my vault as well. Okay. I know what you're thinking. But if there's swords in your vault, you can't get them out, right? Well, the longer do you have room for it in your um inventory slots and stuff like if i switch to this it will switch to the thunder lord it will take it out of my vault for me likewise if i switch to this it will take that out of my vault for me keep in mind it's taking these out of the vault for you so it does it, take up a slot but in theory you can keep on just um putting it in your vault each and every time now this is if it's in your vault if it's just mantled you don't have one and it i don't think it can return dismantled stuff so definitely keep that in mind that's just a quick way to get out of your vault if you've stored it in your vault, I suppose, and to unlock more loadouts because I know some of you guys are going to ask. Um, complete Guardian rank objectives to unlock this loadout slot. Visit the Journey tab to view progress. And by Journey tab, it means literally this tab right here. That is how you unlock them. And that's just it in general. Definitely 
Let me know if this helped you in some way, shape, or form. And before any of you guys ask, the shader I'm using is actually... No, oh, yeah, actually, let me show it here on some of my gear. The shader I'm using is, in fact, Super Black Shader. I have a video on how to get the Super Black Shader at the time, at this time, before the final shape comes out, because chances are it will be different on how you get once the final shape is out. But yeah, hopefully this helped you. But with that said, before I end it, I'd like to you know, kind of show you guys how this works in mission, like legit in mission. As you can see, we go ahead and use this. My teammates are probably wondering why I'm, you know, using that up. But then we switch here and it switches everything for us right away. As you can see, we are using this now. And that means we also have the Thunder Lord. But, I mean, let's say, let's say, oh, the Thunder Lord isn't working like we hoped. Well, we can, I do advise against the switching all willy nilly like this, unless you are doing like some super MLG plays, we will, whoops, wrong button, we will then proceed to switch once again, and as you see, we do still have our past, um, wellspring thing, call it, a uh, you know, plus side of being a warlock, I guess, in this particular case. So yeah, as you see, our switching did actually work out pretty well overall. And for our final thing, let's switch back to where we were to begin with. As you see, our weapons switched as well right away, almost instantly. And yeah, hopefully, like I mentioned before, you found this helpful in some way shape or form that is my goal because with the new subclass coming out i know i for one want to test out the new subclass but be able to easily switch between different loadouts as i need to and i feel like that this is going to be the quickest way to do so that way you don't have to rebuild loadouts every single time because I know how boring or rather tedious that that can get. Oh, and also one last thing because I didn't mention this before, but you can override with a new loadout anytime. Anytime you come up with a new loadout, you can override the current loadout with the new loadout. So definitely keep that in mind. It's not like a once you do that loadout, you're stuck forever thing. But yeah, with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.